Hi, I am Dr. B. Ravi Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Now, in this lecture, I am going to explain about digital logic gates. Still now, so far we discussed about number system under Boolean algebra under the presentation of Boolean functions is in uh, either in a simple SOP or PYS form or a canonical form, complete representation of min terms, which includes all variables. Now, if you have a, a Boolean function, whether it is in complete form or canonical form or a standard SOP and standard PYS form, those Boolean functions are represented diagrammatically or logically, you can represent with the gates. As we know that. Uh, in the first two models, we have studied about uh, the electronic devices like diode and transistors. So internally, those uh, electronic devices are used as a switches. So with the help of those switches, we can make gates and those gates, we can build the logic expressions. So now we are going to implement a boolean function with the help of logic gates we in order to implement the boolean function with the help of logic gates we have to study what are the basic logic circuits or logic gates in the digital electronics there are basically uh, different kinds of logic gates the logic gates can be divided into two types logic gates the logic gates can be divided into two types basic gates and universal gates and the universal gates in the basic gates under basic gate we can take it as uh, and gate or get and not get or inverter we can take it as aoi aoi gates and ro inverter and universal gates we have two types of universal gates nand and nor these are the two kinds of uh, universal gates why they are called basic gates and why they are called universal gates means basic gates are the gates are available basically under or inverter or not get and universal gates nan and nor why they are called universal gates with the help of universal gates we can make or we can implement uh, any other logic gates we can make we can implement and gate, we can implement R gate, we can implement NOT gate, NOR gate, we can implement XR gate and XNOR gates with the help of NAN and NOR. That's why they are called universal gates. So, first we will let us see that uh, this basic gates, its functionality uh, with the help of truth table. What is the AND gate, R gate, NOT gate, and AOI gates? First we will see this AND gate. So, if we take the AND gate, AND gate is composed of a two input AND gate is composed of product term A and B. So, any two variables A and B operated with the dot A dot B is equal to AND gate representation. The truth table representation of this AND gate is A, B are the input and X is the output which is equal to mathematically or Boolean expression is A dot B where dot represents a simple multiplication or product Boolean product it is. So if we have two variables we can make four combinations 
if we have two variables uh, among uh, among four, four combinations which are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we can represent it in words in min terms a bar b bar a bar b a b bar and a b and what is the corresponding undergate operation output undergate output so simply we can say that and operation of two variables a and b is like a simple multiplication or product product of two variables product of a and b when we perform product of this a and b so 0 into 0 means you will get 0 0 into 1 means you will get 0 1 into 0 will get 0 so 1 into 1 1 what is the important thing we have to remember from this truth table is in the and operation when we performing the product of a and b both inputs are high then only the output is high remaining all cases output is low so we can take there as a simple two word in this table output is low when any one input is zero and output is high when both inputs are high okay the graphical representation or symbolic representation of undergate is take the two input undergate a symbol representation with uh, like a, a d like d symbol this is the symbol for undergate in this undergate it will act as a product operation take the a input a and b inputs you will get x is equal to a into b the switching diagrammatic representation of this and operation is for example if we provide a network a switching circuit which consists of a voltage battery and a two inputs are connected in a switch initially both are in open that uh, switches are connected with the bulb for example bulb output according to the and operation when a uh, switch a is closed closed switch represents logic high open switch represent logic low a closed switch represent logic one closed switch represent logic one open switch represent logic zero so according to this notation if you assume that both a and b are open circuited both inputs are high uh, low both inputs are low when both inputs are open circuit no current flow in the network and passing through the bulb or output no current flow open circuit open circuit no current flow in the output so output will be f is equal to zero suppose i am closing one switch i am closing one switch if it is closing one switch and open the other switch if it is this this one is one logic one and logic high and closer switch it is logic zero and logic one since they are in series in series one terminal is open one switch is open the entire closed switch circuit is open circuit only so in under operation under switching function uh, under uh, switching network both inputs are in series when one input is open then uh, output is al also zero because no current flow in the loop and if you exchange this uh, condition with this a and b closed switch with uh, by closed switch by b and open switch by a so if an a is open it is zero b is closed it is one it is uh, logic low logic high even though a is logic low uh, b is logic high but uh, due to a it is uh, entire circuit is open circuit so again zero in the final case when we closed with uh, when we closed a and b when we close both a and b in both uh, a and b means high high and uh, logic one and logic one and then short circuited when short circuited current flow in the network then output will be high so for 
the notation of switching circuit for and operation take a terminal and a switch and b switch are in series and in series with the output terminal or bulb so that we can assume that we can analyze this and operation by giving close and open switch respectively next gate is r gate in this r gate the output for the r gate operation is nothing but a r operator with the b it is boolean logically addition operation we know that what are the condition for addition so logical of r operation it is not simple addition it is logical r operation so the symbol for logical r operation of two input a and b are the inputs we can take the symbol like this r x is equal to a plus b and what is the truth table representation of this r operation the simple r operation is nothing but ab is are the inputs and x is the x is equal to output 0 0 will get 0 0 1 will get 1 1 1 0 will get 1 1 1 output is 1 in this case it is like a logical r operation any one input is high any one input is high the output enter output is will be high if in this case second case 0 1 one input is high 1 0 one input is high 1 1 one input is and 1 or 2 inputs are high so output logical logic high any one input is high output to high or 1 and both are 0 logic 0 the, uh, the uh, switching function or switching circuit for this R gate is take the two switches are connected in parallel when we connect it in parallel and uh, supply the voltage so a switch a is open circuit switch b is open circuit no current flow in the network no current flow in the output f this is the first case both are zero zero no current flow so f is equal to zero or x is equal to zero and uh, second case zero one one means b term b switch is closed and a switch is open one switch is closed, the current flowing through the closed switch will then passing through the current flowing through the bulb and they will get output is equal to 1. This is second case. Suppose third case, 10 switch A is closed and switch B is open. So current flowing through the switch A and then flowing through the bulb, you will get the blowing blown the bulb and nothing but output is 1. And uh, fourth case is both are one when both are one if both are one so current flowing through the both either one but it will reach fast is where, where which path is uh, short like which path is low resistance then that will that path is current flowing through the low otherwise take this combination and add it add this current and then flowing through the bulb so you will get output is equal to one so that any one input is high one switch is closed the output will get high that is a, that is about r gate it is a com, uh, inverter or simply not gate the not gate uh, is a single input gate so any input variable a its not operation or inverter operation is nothing but complement of that input the symbol notation for this not gate is a buffer with a bubble. The presence of small circle always denotes the inversion of the input. A is given, you will get a bar output. That uh, truth table representation of the not gate is it is a single input and a single output table. A one variable table. So if it is one variable only two combinations a is equal to 0 one combination a is equal to 1 another combination when a is equal to 0 output is 1 when a is equal to 1 output is 0 we are giving 0 input here through bubble 
and passing through it, it will be 1. 1 is given, you get 0. That is called NOT gate operation. These three gates are called basic gates. Now we will see that uh, universal gates. If you see universal gate, in this universal gate, first one is NAND gate. What is NAND gate? The name when we observe it is NAND and plus NOT gate. So it is a combination of two gates and uh, first performing the AND operation, then performing the inverter operation, you will get AND bar nothing but NAND. The symbol for NAND is, it is like a AND with a complement, complement nothing but notation of bubble. So take the AND symbol, same AND symbol and put a bubble at the output side. So it is a, like a two input to NAND gate. We will get two input and get and then this can also be represented with the first take the and gate symbol that AB is passing through the inverter you will get AB bar. The truth table for this uh, inverter first we will see the and then complement of and is nothing but and Take the AB input to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 is 1. And operation any one input is 0, output will be 0. And only both inputs are high, the output is 1. That is under operation. If you complement of it, that AB, just complement of it, this complement, 0 complement 1, 0 complement 1, 0 complement 1. And uh, one complement zero. So output of NAND gate is triple one zero. Similarly, NAR gate. NAR gate is also one of the universal gate. In this NAR gate, we will get the R gate. The output of R gate passing through the NAR gate or inverter we will get NAR gate. The symbol for NAR gate can be represented with the R with the bubble. So, bubble represents the inversion of the output of R. So, the expression for R gate is x is equal to of R operation A plus B with the complement A plus B bar. This can also be represented with the R symbol first and then passing through the inverter symbol, we will get A plus B whole bar. The truth table for NOR gate is it is a two variable gate. So, take the two variables AB and which have a uh, we have four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is the R operation A plus B is equal to A plus B nothing but R operation any one input is one output will be high. So in this combination so one or two inputs one so output will be high. Only first case both are low output will be low. Remaining case are high. So quite opposite just complement of this output A plus B will get output. So, the first combination, the complement of 0 is 1, remaining 3 combination, complement of 1 is nothing but zeros. 1, triple 0 is nothing but NAR operation. So, this, these are the universal and universal gates and uh, basic gates. So, these logic gates can be represented with the Boolean functions. So, we have a Boolean function. If you take any Boolean function, we can make with the help of large basic gates and uh, universal gates. Suppose the Boolean function, if you take any Boolean function, simple Boolean function, a Boolean function may be represented in standard form and a canonical form. I am taking simple standard form Boolean function, a two variable Boolean function, x bar y plus x y bar. In this Boolean function, the function represented in two variable, so we, the notation of uh, this Boolean function is f of x comma y 
is equal to x bar y plus x y bar. What is x y x bar y? It is a one min term m one. Like this, uh, it is a one min term. So the min term name is it is a bar nothing but zero. Normal uncomplementary variable is one. Zero one means one. So a min term one and one zero means min term two. It is called min term two. So this min term m one represented with the product x bar y. X bar y nothing but it's a product term. Product term is represented in logic gates is under operation. And one of the variable is complemented. That's complemented represented with the not gate. So how many gates are required here? If you see the, it is a one under gate. Under gate. Another under gate. And these two under gates are combined with R gates. One R gate. And to represent complement term, one not gate. And another not to get. So totally, basically, to implement or to draw the diagrammatic form, logic gate diagrammatic form for this Boolean function is, it requires two inverters, two and gates, and one R gate. So it is a simple SOP form. It is a it is called SOP sum of product. So this SOP form can be represented, can be diagrammatically represented with the help of inverters, AND gate, and R gates. In the SOP form, all min terms, min terms are combined with the one R gate. In a PYS form, all product terms are combined. Like PYS form, all uh, like uh, max terms are combined with the AND term, product term. So, how to draw this diagram? First, to take the inverter variables, inverting variables, take the x. The simplest way to draw this one is take the x variable, y variable, x, y, and uh, take the x bar variable and y bar, y bar variable. Now, take the point which variable we require in the expression x bar. So here, here it is input is x, here it is x bar. Here it is input is y, here it is y bar. Extend that x bar term, take the point, connect that x bar term and y term. This is y term. And combining uh, this min term x bar y is a product term we can take the not gate we can take the not gate this is called x bar y take the another term x and y bar x y bar take the dot on x and y bar it is a y bar y bar x and uh, this is a simple product term we can take the product using and get x y bar so these two are combined with r gate take the r gate you will try the r gate will get output so Output is equal to x bar y plus x y bar. The other uh, way directly we can represent it with uh, two and gates. Two and gates are taken and one R gates are taken. The inputs of the and gates are one is x bar x bar nothing but take the bar inverter x x bar and uh, y 
you can take y as it is and in this case x y bar is y is x so we can add with the combined with the r gate will get out so anyway we can represent it this boolean function using logic gates this uh, representation this drawing is represented as aoi implementation and r inverter implementation aoi implementation aoi implementation If you take the PYS form product of sum, the standard representation of Boolean function in PYS form, same Boolean function if you take in PYS form, f of x is y is equal to x y bar. x plus like x bar y dot x plus y bar this is this product of some all the individual products are like a product uh, all the sum terms this sum terms are Combine with the product. So that's why it's called product of sums. All sums are compacted. So how many number of product are here? Some terms are combined with the one single product term. So the notation to draw the diagram for this one. Here it is x value, x bar value, x bar inverter. By providing inverter y bar, we will get y bar, y, y bar. So x bar y operated with the, which gate it is R gate plus symbol R R symbol. We can represent with the R gate and x plus y bar x plus y bar. And represented with the target another target combining these two targets are with the dot operator with nothing but and gate and operation will get output f f is equal to x bar plus y into x plus y bar that is the representation of PYS form. Now, we can also possible to make all the basic gates using universal gates. So the conversion between basic gates to universal gates. If you take the NAND gate, conversion using NAND. NAND gate. If you want to design a basic gate inverter, not how to implement this NOT gate. Very simple. In order to implement a NOT gate, what is the equation for NOT gate is, for example, A is the input, your output is x is equal to mathematical like Boolean expression for NOT gate is equal to 
a bar. If input is a, a bar. So it is a single input. So NAND gate is a two input NAND gate. In order to get this single input, take the NAND gate first. It is a NAND gate. Two input NAND gate. So A, B. If you take the second input to under first input to combining together, second input and first input combining together, take a single input A. So it is a NAND gate actually. So what is the expression for NAND gate is, for example, Y is equal to A dot B whole bar. If you combining two inputs, nothing but both are same. B is equal to also A, A dot A bar. So A dot A according to theorems, A dot A is equal to A bar. So you will get A bar. So it is a functionality of the NOT gate. So in order to convert that NAND gate to NOT gate, take the two inputs are combining together, joined together, you will get the NOT gate operation. How to get the <coughs> hand gate? Hand gate. What is the expression for hand gate? A B. A B bar. How to transform this uh, NAND gate expression to hand gate? And get in order to get this a b term once again we can complement it, it. A, take the nand gate expression again complement of it you will get a b double bar is nothing but a b so how can we get that a b term from the a b bar once again complement of it so if you take the two input nand gate two input nand gate i am drawing This two input NAND gate A B you will get A B bar. Again, this is given to inverter, the above said invert inverter. So two A B bar, A B bar is input is common. And so we take that uh, common input, you will get output. This is called y. Y is equal to. So here, a b bar is again inverter. You will get a b. So that's why it requires two NAND gates. One NAND gate output is a b bar. Another NAND gate given to inverter. You will get a b. Next, how to design? How to compose R gate? What is the R gate representation? So the mathematical equation for R is, for example, a variable y. R representation is a plus b. A plus B is the output. It is our target output. We have NAND gate expression y is equal to A B bar. How can we convert this A B bar into plus term? We have a theorem, De Morgan's theorem. So A B bar is equal to, we can convert this term is equal to A bar plus b bar so we'll get a product term into some term product term into r operator term but we we have got a bar and b bar term how can we convert this a bar to a and b bar to b if you apply one more complement to a and one more complement to b so that means 
a complement a complements means a double complements b a b double complements means b so what is the procedure to get this uh this nand gate to nand gate to r r expression means by providing a double complement and then add so take the how many gates count it how many gates are required two times of uh, like uh, if you take the inverter a bar inverter and b bar inverter that means simply we can take actually a b bar the nand gate expression a b bar can be represented as a bar plus b bar in order to get a plus b just once again in inverting of the input and inverting of the other input take the simple nand gate another nand gate two input and weight combining together two input and get combining together a is given you will get a bar b is given you will get b bar when we given to the nand gate these two expression when we are given to nand gate so nand gate operation a bar dot b bar whole bar a bar dot b bar whole bar so we'll get a double bar plus b double bar which is equal to a plus b only so in order to get this uh, r gate we require three number of nand gates we require two number of and nand gates per and one one nand gates per create not get so and r we can create basic gates nand not and r not similarly we can take another universal gate nor gate so nor gate the symbol for nor gate is r with bubble is nothing but nor gate how to create a not get using nor get so not get if you combining these two inputs using r get a b inputs can be combined into a a so the expression for this nor get is a plus b sorry a plus a whole bar both inputs are a a plus a whole bar a plus a means a a bar so you will get one not one not gate is required to get not not operation inverter and under how can we get under so this under in order to get that under take the boolean expressions what is the under gate y is equal to a b how can we re, uh, arrange how can we write uh, this product term in terms of uh, r gate operation nor gate nor gate operation using de morgan's law a bar we can write down this one a double bar b double bar plus we can get uh, a double bar b double bar 
call bar sorry so in order to write this one ab can be written as ab double bar ab double bar can be written as a bar plus b bar whole bar so a bar plus b bar we can convert it into nar gate actual nar gate representation is a plus b whole bar we can represent it as a bar into b bar but we have ab how can we convert this a bar b bar into ab if you inverting of this input once again we will get ab so take the r gates so if you see this expression and this expression so we have one x x x uh, nor gate inverter another not gate inverter and uh, we can give the x uh, like nor gate out take the nor gate another nor gate A, A bar, B, B bar, these are connected with an R gate, an R gate means one, one variable is A bar, another variable is B bar, plus whole bar is an R gate expression, an R gate equation is A variable A, variable b whole bar plus whole bar a plus b whole bar is nothing but expression for nor gate so this can be written as according to de morgan's law a bar a double bar into b double bar which is equal to a b only so in order to get under operation we can take three nor gates in order to get not get we can we can have only one not gate so on how to or oh, draw this NAND using R. So R and just inverters, so we can take only, we require only two gates. So in order to get R, R is the Boolean expression is A plus B. So what is the NAND gate expression? A plus B whole bar. So how can we connect to A plus B bar whole bar to A plus B? We can take complement. So we can use one extra inverter. So to input R gate, R gate, if you take the two input R gate, A, B, R gate, you will get A plus B whole bar. This, this single input output, this A plus B whole bar output is given to a two single input R gate, you will get a, a plus B whole bar whole bar, which is equal to R expression. So it requires one and two. So in the in the NAR gate to get NAT gate one, to get R gate two, to get AND gate opposite gate is three. In a NAND, NAND gate implementation, in the NAND gate implementation, to get NAT gate one, to get AND gate just only two, to get opposite gate like R gate, we need three. In this way, we can. Uh, the convert or implement this basic gates and universal gates with the help of universal gates we can create basic gates thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates